Welcome back for another video guys and today I'm going to be pattern testing the turkey loads that I got and see how they're going to do in my shotgun and see kind of the distance that I want to take a turkey at this spring. I didn't go to the store and buy any fancy targets. I just found some cardboard laying around and I drew some turkeys on there. As you can tell, I'm an art major in college right now. So going places. What I'm going to do is put the full choke in my Winchester SX4, load it with this three and a half inch, two ounce, four shot federal turkey loads, and we'll shoot it at 40 yards, see how it patterns, shoot it at 30 yards, see how it patterns. What I want to figure out today with patterning my turkey loads is to see the maximum distance that I'm comfortable taking a turkey at. So that is the game plan. I'm going to go get everything set up and we'll be shooting here pretty quick. I think that'll work. Like I said, I got my Winchester SX4, a full choke in it for turkey hunting. And we'll go ahead, get her loaded up, and we'll see what kind of patterns we get with these. This thing's gonna kick like a mule. I just know it. It's gonna, it's gonna knock me on my butt. Dang, golly. Got the turkey load in, target's down range, this is at 40 yards. Wow, that's a kick. Let's go check her out. Let's go see how this patterned out. I've never shot a turkey load before because I've never actually went turkey hunting. So that's my first time shooting a turkey load. And uh, <laughs> that thing kicked like a mule. Well, let's check this out. I think I hit the target in the right spots. We'll see. It's kind of hard to see the target from back there. So we're kind of all over the place. Let's see what our turkeys got in them. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a couple on the edge here. So we got eight BBs in the head of the turkey, head and neck. It's kind of all over the place here. I mean, it's, it's, it's down here, all up there. So it's really kind of spread out, but I think that'd be a dead turkey. I mean, there's pellets in its head. I'm gonna go ahead and change out the target and get a fresh one on there. And we'll try it at 30 yards and see how much better that is. This is just kind of, it's not ex super exact as you guys tell it. I mean, I made that target, but I'm just kind of trying to get a feel for stuff. So we'll go up 10 yards to 30 yards, see how it patterns and go from there. But I'm happy with that 40 yard shot with that gun and that load. I think they'd kill a turkey. I could bump down some shot size. I mean, I'm shooting four shot. I could get those loads that have like a whole mixture of them and it might pattern a little better, but I, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to turkey hunting. <laughs> so I just picked four shot because I, I know people use that and I've heard buddies using four shots. So that's why I picked it, but I could definitely go down to like fives or sixes and see what happens. But new targets going on, we'll try it at 30 yards. So in the process of editing this video, I found out that the file of me shooting that shell at 30 yards was corrupted. Great. So you're not really missing much. I just went and shot the shell and we went and looked at the target, but that sucks. I was like, man, this is like half the video gone. Perfect. But you'll get caught up in this next clip. So here are the two patterns that I took. I took some pictures and I'll throw them up here for you guys so you can look at them a little closer. But 40 yards, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, nine, 10, 11 somewhere around there at 40 yards. I had about between nine and 11 pellets in this turkey. I know I didn't get like real turkey load patterning targets, but I'm cheap. So, you know, work with what you got. And on the 30 yard target, I can just tell from the amount of penetrations that are just in this piece of cardboard there, this pattern was definitely a lot tighter, which it makes sense, 30 yards to 40. But there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
pellets in this target. I think I had a little bit of an error on the 30 yard because I might have aimed a little higher or I might have pulled my gun a little bit when I shot. But either one of those is most likely a dead turkey. I would like to see a denser pattern so I might go and get some a smaller shot size so then I can have a little bit more pellets hitting that, that vital area. But for four shot, I don't think it's too bad. What do you guys think? Let me know, because I'm really new to doing this turkey hunting stuff. I've turkey hunted a few times, but I've never shot a turkey. So let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have a preferred turkey load that you use, leave it in the comments and let me know. Once again, the loads I was using was 12 gauge, three and a half inch, two ounce, four shot. And these are the Federals. And they were like 10 bucks a box. So I was like, you know what? I'll get these. Why not? We'll give them a try and see how they do. So I'm pleased with it. I think I could go out and kill a turkey with these loads. Ideally, I won't be taking a turkey at 40 yards. I'd like to get it within 20. Just, I don't know, I think it'd be, it'd make it a little bit more fun to get them in the decoys and everything. But if I need to, I bet you I could take a 40 yard shot and kill a turkey. Just so you guys know, once again, I was using my Winchester SX4. It's a 12 gauge, three and a half inch chamber. And I put the full choke in this gun and this this full choke is the one that came with the gun it's nothing special overall i think this went okay and i'm really looking forward to getting out and hunting turkeys here in april turkey season in kansas doesn't start for a little while it starts in the middle of april for shotgun season so i've got a little bit of waiting to do but once that season comes i'm definitely going to get in the field and try and get me a turkey or two if you want to follow me on my social media i've got a twitter instagram snapchat and facebook follow me on there to stay up to date with what i'm doing if you're trying to send me a message send me a message either on snapchat or instagram and i'll most likely get back to you but that's all i got for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video and i will catch you on the next one